Hello, I am called the NYE. This is a trans call hotel building at Abuja, owned by the great uh, son of the soil, Tony Elumelu. And um, we will be discussing about this uh, trans call plans to expand into regional areas. They are building a five star hotel in Ikoi, Lagos. And they are planning to um, expand to many other places, including Anambra State. And uh, we are going to also discuss, because a lot of people have been talking, oh, why should uh, Soludo invest in on uh, hotel and other things? We are going to discuss the, um, the just a little clip of what uh, Transco Abuja is making for Transco Group. Um, most of the profit they declared uh, last year, come from this hotel in Abuja. Although they are giving out, um, they are actually um, sold off uh, the Calabar branch uh, to uh, Eco Travels. Um, but that's uh, notwithstanding, they are making a headway because uh, what happened is that they have found um, a new way to um, uh, control the market, especially having um, entertainment centers that can actually, uh, or event centers that can contain more people like between three to five thousand people that's what they're trying to incorporate uh, into their business i am so called the nye the son of wonderful we are discussing about um this transco group owned by tony uh Erumeru, and they plan to expand into every part of nigeria and um there's um there's a rumor going on that they are considering building uh one of their biggest hotels in uh Anambra State. I don't actually have um, the um, the place they are planning to. I don't know if it's the one that Soludo is doing because Soludo is also negotiating with a lot of uh, um, hotel management groups about the um, hotel that is going to flag off in Oka very soon. But um, a lot of people are speculating because there is uh, the economy is actually moving um, to the um, southern um, Nigeria and um, and the Southeast is not left out in this. That's why there are a lot of hotel businesses that is rising up in spite of the criticism by the people that don't understand how the economy works. That the entertainment um, hospitality industry has grown so huge. A lot of countries are actually making huge sums of money from this. Um, before we continue on this, you need to share this video. You need to subscribe to this channel. Is Transco Group about to set up uh, another branch in Anambra State? Is Transco Group Hotel um, owned by Tony uh, Lumelu about to set up uh, a mega structure in Anambra State? So we are going to be discussing. But remember, this week is going to be a great week also because quite a lot of... Uh, hospitality news coming up from Anambra State, especially we are going to be talking about the Steenager um, um, Boulevard or hotel uh, that is owned by the um, uh, billionaire businessman um, Aloysius uh, um, Ikebuono, uh, the bishop, as is uh, commonly known on the first of May, that will uh, grace the uh, possibly the Anambra State uh, Governor to actually officially commission this hotel at Osoboro. It's, uh, I think it's a three-star hotel, and this bishop also is building a five-star hotel at Oka, just near Aroma. It will be one of the tallest buildings in Oka. I think at the moment it's our uh, eighth floor, and they will, that one might be commissioned before the end of this year. So what are we talking about? Let me read the figures to you to show you that actually Transco hotel business is a lucrative business. But because we don't understand that we think it's just about just about the lodging and all those things. No, not at all. There are a lot of businesses that are interwoven with our um, hotels, hospitality, which you know no country develop without having their hospitality um, up and running. Transo Hotel has a good year last year, audited 2023 full year results. 
that showed outstanding performance with record-breaking revenue of $41.5 billion in 2021. $41.5 billion in 2021 compared to $30.4 billion in 2022. They, they, they made a substantial 36% growth year on year. So, I think you have seen the figure. You have seen the figure. I, to, I do believe that you need to believe what I'm um, saying. Profit for the year grew, grew by 133% from 2.6 billion, 2.6 billion in December 2022 to 6.1 billion in December 2023. Total assets increased by 5% from 120.5 billion in December 2022 to 126.1 billion in December 2023. So this is what we are discussing about the homeland. The um our that we need to proactively develop our homeland. So to develop our homeland requires us to um, do certain things. We need to uh, be in, in, need to be encompassing development, not developing one sector and leaving the other. Um, the hospitality industry is an industry that we need to uh, focus so much. So kudos to Soludo uh, for understanding this. But I do believe that he need to. Uh, actually invest more on it. It must come with a timeline. It must uh, be fast in doing this because it's very important because hospitality can easily change the narrative in our homeland. So we don't need to be wasting so much time talking and all those things, listening to those uh, negative vibes. We need to proactively uh, support what the government is doing and other private citizens because people say um, everywhere hotel, everywhere hotel. Why should we be building hotels instead of the industries? They forgot that entertainment is also um, a form of industry. And this entertainment can actually employ something like what, half a million to a million people in a homeland if properly invested on. Think about a whole on each and without no five-star hotel. If Soludo can actually proactively form a company that will be based in Anambra State that will be called Anambra Hotels and uh, Hotel Limited and uh, that will actually set up to build five star hotels five five star hotels ah five of them uh, and high rise between 20 and 30 story high so think about the impact it will make in our nature Think about the impact if you can go to uh, the park lane uh, near the Onicha Mall, uh, the abandoned uh, Firestar Hotel that was started by Pete Obi and uh, was abandoned by Willie Obiano. You know, we need to be proactive. And you can see uh, near that place also, there is another hotel that is also oncoming there. I don't know why they have not finished that hotel, but you can see that there's a huge demand for hospitality. Investors and billionaires need somewhere that is so comfortable where they can spend their money. So think about that. Anambra State can do better in hospitality even than Calabar or Cross River State. Because I think with Transco thinking I in Anambra market, and I had also, they are um, looking at also Asaba, Delta State. So if you can uh, actually see what they are looking at and see why a lot of businessmen are investing in hospitalities, you can bet me there is possibilities of setting up a huge uh, number of uh, five-star hotels and recreation centers in Anambra State. So we, we um, I believe that... Uh, it is possible that uh, we, you know, looking at uh, the Transco Group, looking at what they are doing, the 20-story building uh, hotel uh, at Ikeja they are starting, you can also see uh, that they plan to finish that building by 2027. That 
if they actually start the one in Anambra State and Delta State, you can actually see that they are, they are focusing to make billions from these ventures. So that's exactly what we are talking about. I don't know what's your view on this. Do you believe that um, hospitality industry is not uh, supposed to be invested on? Do you believe it's a wise decision to uh, for the state and the people to invest more on that? What is your view? What is your take? What the what what's your opinion? Go to the comment section and uh, uh, you know let's uh, chat about it. Is Anambra about to uh, have a transport uh, transcor uh, hotel uh, part of the investors in Anambra State? Tony Elumelu, uh, is he about to invest in Anambra State? So that's what we'll be discussing. And that's what um, uh, I need you to share your own opinion. Because um, if Soludo can un unlock this uh, uh, gold mine in Anambra State, I bet you the state will not remain the same. This state is supposed to be competing with uh, Abuja and Lagos. But because along the line, our leaders in the past or governors in the past has not been that um, uh, has not been with a great vision and a great uh, uh, mindset in order to expand this great gold mine that is um, is with us and is uh, given to us. Our people are big hitters. They have the money to spend, and investors are flooding into the state and flooding into the homeland and they want to take advantage of good hotels. Remember also that uh, OBJC, um, uh, OBJASEN is also building um, a five-star hotel in Okija. Think about that. Why should somebody like OB, uh, um, OBJASEN building that? He knows the worth of this. He knows. He knows. So that's what we need to uh, proactively be thinking about because this is uh, something, a win-win situation because one is that we need to create so much jobs for our people. The youths need jobs. Whether you like it or not, they need something doing because if you don't create jobs, what you are exposing your pop uh, population to is massive crime and hopelessness, poverty. So to arrest this uh, spiral of uh, uh, unemployment and of poverty in the homeland, we need to develop all sectors of the economy, including hospitality, which uh, um, the hotel uh, fall under. I am still called the NYA, the son of wonderful. I, I wish you um, that uh, I know that you do enjoy what we are doing and I must um, thank you enormously for all the support you have shown to us. I do appreciate all that you have been doing to us and I am very glad and I welcome also using this opportunity, the new subscriber to this channel. This channel is about education, informative and entertaining. We do all vlogs about all parts of the world and we also do about the homeland. Remember, our homeland must be livable and a prosperous homeland for all. And thank you very much for always supporting us. Remember to share, remember to subscribe to this channel and we will continue moving forward. I am the son of the wonderful. I am Cordelly NYE. See you in the next one. And may God bless you. Have a wonderful time. Bye.